Hi, good everybody, and welcome back here to Jim Waller Event Center in Prescott, Oklahoma. Game one of this doubleheader goes to the Lady Pirates. Unfortunately, it wasn't Dale, it was Preston. They rallied for a 44-37 victory over Dale to hand Eric Smith and his ball club a loss in their season opener. Preston is now 2-0. We now turn our attention to the Dale boys. They are the prohibited favorite to win Class 2A again. They the 29-2 Pirates from a year ago were 13-1 against ranked teams. They won their last seven to win their first state title in school history in their eighth state tournament trip. Jeff Edmondson is in his 16th season at Dale. He spent five years at Baker. His career record in 21 seasons, 420 wins and 147 losses. Dale last year lost twice, both of the regular season at Jones and at Cashin. They went on to beat Cashin in the state final 65-58, one of two wins and three head-to-head -head matchups between the top two teams in the class a year ago. Chase Littlejohn is in his third season, 27-24 here at Preston. He is 0-2 in his career against Dale. Both of those meetings coming at 20 and 21. Here, it was an 86-55 Dale victory. In Dale, it was 90-28 Pirates over Preston and Chase Littlejohn's team in his first season. Obviously, there is news tonight. Dayton Forsyth, arguably the best junior in the state of Oklahoma, will not play. He is serving a mandatory one-game suspension issued by the OSSAA after he was ejected for a slide in the third inning of the state fall baseball championship win over Silo. So he must set out the first game of the next sports. So Forsyth and his 21 point per game average will not be in the lineup tonight. Here is a look at the starters. First of all, for the Preston Pirates, they are coming off a victory over Okarchi, 66 to 53 last Friday night. They went 19 and 10, lost to Oklahoma Union in the area consolation finals, 56-53. Jervis Gore is an outstanding player. He's a junior, had 21 points, four rebounds, three steals and a block against Okarchi. Tucker Webb is a senior. He had 12 points, five rebounds, four assists last Friday night. Tereffin Bagby wears number 33, five points, six rebounds. He fouled out and also had a steal in their season opening win. win. Malachi Liggins is a senior, 16 points, two rebounds, two steals, and an assist in the Pirates' season opening win. And Keaton Smith, a senior, with six points and nine rebounds, completes the starting lineup. So it's Gory, Webb, Bagby, Liggins, and Smith for the Preston Pirates. For Dale and 16th year head coach Jeff Edmondson, it'll be Easton Edmondson, a 5'10 sophomore, played in 31 games a year ago, averaged four and a half points, two and a half rebounds. Jed Hickton is a 6'3 sophomore, played in 31 games of last year's state championship team. He led the team with 11 charges taken, averaged almost eight points and 5.8 rebounds per ball game. Levi Kelly has been nursing a calf and hamstring injury during part of the preseason. He will start tonight a 5'11 sophomore at guard. Levi averages 8.4 points per ball game and 1.9 rebounds. Deacon Jones, a 6'1 junior, averaged 12 points and nearly four rebounds a year ago in 31 starts. In an absence of Dayton Forsyth tonight, Trey Chambers, an ever-improved sophomore, will start. Trey is 6'6", played 17 games a year ago, averaged 3.8 points per ball game and 4.6 rebounds. So again, it's Edmondson, Hickton, Kelly, Jones, and Chambers tonight for the Dale Pirates, 29-2 a year ago in their first meeting with the Preston Pirates in two seasons. Preston will wear the home white and black, trimmed in orange. Dale will be in the road red and white, trimmed in gold and black. Trey Chambers, a 6'6 sophomore, will jump center for Dale as Chase Littlejohn is still huddled up around his kids directly below us here at Jim Waller Event Center. A packed house here right, on this Friday go. night. Season opener for Dale, game number two of the Preston season. Malachi Liggins, the senior, will oppose the sophomore, Trey Chambers. Dale right to left. Liggins will move left to right, and Preston has controlled the opening tip. Jervis Gorey, they focused a lot of their time and practice on Gorey this week, handles the ball between the circles. Malachi Liggins, one dribble. Out front now to Carreffer and Bagby. Bagby back with it to Gorey, left side. Dale starts the game at his own defense. Gorey gets a skip pass out front. 
He is guarded there by Deacon Jones. Right wing, Tucker Webb. Webb off the dribble, cut off by Kelly in the paint. Top of the key to Liggins. Liggins bounces it to Gorey for three, no good. Rebound tipped out, and Jet has it. Higdon with the rebound. Now to Edmondson. Into the front court as Easton last year. He had 107 assists on the state championship team as a sophomore. Higdon gets a bounce pass, goes underneath the goal, had the shot blocked that time by Bagby, and the ball knocked out of bounds, last touched by Higdon. So each team of the possession were a minute deep into the opening quarter, game two of the varsity doubleheader tonight, and there is no score. Dale's boys JV team lost on a last second field goal to start the contest. Gorey drives left, kicks it to Bagby, quarter three is good. The big guy who blocked a shot at one end gets a three at the other. That's his first triple of the season, and it's 3 nothing Preston Pirates. Edmondson to the front court. Deacon Jones with a basketball. Two dribbles, hands it off to Kelly. Levi back to Easton. Edmondson to Kelly left side. He is a marksman from three-point range. They guard him on the perimeter with Tucker Webb. 90 seconds into the first period. It's 3 nothing Preston. Edmondson down the paint. Jump passes. Kelly's corner left three is off the front. No good. Rebound tipped up by Jones. Almost went into the basket. Preston has it. Gorey up ahead left corner for Malachi Liggins. Back to Jervis. Jervis drives into the paint. Cut off by Jones. Resets to Webb out front. 6-10 to play here for the first period. Gorey will trigger a three and he got it. Jervis from three-point range was two of five here against Okarchi. He is now three of seven to start his junior season. This is a senior-laden Preston team with the exception of Gorey. Kelly to Edmondson, drives left baseline. Hickton is trapped underneath the basket, goes up and another block. Bagby with the block and the rebound. Into the forecourt, Liggins, left side, Gorey, drives underneath the basket, lays it up and in. Five straight for Gorey, and it's an eight-nothing start now for the Preston Pirates with five and a half minutes to play here in the first period. Edmondson into the front court. Dale having some trouble getting good looks here early. Higdon with it to Jones right baseline. Deacon a lob pass to Easton out front. Quarter left three, Kelly no good, but he's fouled. Levi Kelly is gonna go to the free throw line thanks to a silly foul by Keaton Smith, and that is the first. Preston essentially won the ball game the other night against Okarchi, outscoring the Warriors 21-13 in that first period. So Levi Kelly will go to the free throw line. Last year he was 68%. First free throw is up and good. Levi is a gym rat. In fact, all these nail pirates are. Kelly, despite that dual leg injury, has been up four, six, seven o'clock shooting gym, uh, shots at the gym every day. Second foul shot is no good. Kelly will get one more. 5.22 to go with the first period. Dale is on the board. It's now 8-2 as Levi hits two of the three. 5.15 to play. Both Jeff Edmondson and Chase Littlejohn up pacing in front of the respective sidelines. Between the circles, it's Bagby. Gorey bounces it for Lincolns, knocked out of bounds, and it stays with Preston despite the pleas of Deacon Jones. Deacon Jones is a really good player. Sometimes because of the presence of Dayton Forsyth, may get overlooked just a little bit, but he's as good as you'll find at this level. Pump fake down low. Smith shot blocked by Chambers. Trey with a rebound. He has really vastly improved from a year ago. Easton to Trey out front. Edmondson thought about a three top of the circle. Looks like it's a 2-3 zone that sometimes has the look of a 3-2 look. Ed Easton for three top of the circle. No. Rebound to Liggins. Preston has held. Dale without field goal for nearly three and a half minutes. Gorey with a crossover move. Gets to the rim. Misses. Rebound to Keaton Smith with a loose ball foul underneath against the Dale Pirates. The foul is against Jet Higdon, and that's the first of the night against the defending 2A state champions who are coming off an, impre uh, an impressive fall camp. Gorey into the paint, jump passes right wing side, Tucker Webb. Rare touch here early for him against Levi Kelly. He crosses all over, Levi cuts him off. Now it's Gorey, a floater of the next line of the hitting. Jervis Gorey with seven of the 10, and it's an eight point Preston lead. 4.15 to play here in the first period from Preston. Right side Chambers from Jones. Pass returned. Deacon gets a deflected pass, goes to the rim. Contact. The shot was short, no whistle. Rebound to Bagby, to Gorey. Up ahead to Liggins. One on two and a blocking foul. Called against Easton Edmondson. 
That'll be his first and the second against the Pirates as Preston will go to the free throw line with 4.05 remaining here in this first period. They called it before the shot, so they'll inbound instead with senior Tucker Webb. All but one of their five starters are seniors come into this ball game. The lone senior is their best player, Jervis Gorey, and he handles the inbounds pass. Gorey with it in the left front court. Edmund, uh, Easton Edmondson is on him. Gorey now is trapped by Deacon Jones. Needs some help, tries to step through it, lobs it across the floor, and Chambers with the interception. Good defense that time by the Pirates. Edmondson up ahead right side. Hickton with a basketball. Jet wanted to drive, couldn't. Now it's Easton between the circles. No field goals for four and a half minutes of this first period for the Pirates. Hickton tries to end that. His turnaround jumper underneath the foul line, no good. Jet crashes, but the rebound to Keaton Smith. To Tucker Webb in transition. Webb to Gorey left side. Gorey against Deacon Jones is cut off. Now it's Bagby to referent. Leaves it for Webb between the circles, working one-on-one -on -one against Levi Kelly with 3.13 to play in the period. Now Webb takes him off the dribble and throws it away. Good defense by Le uh, Levi. Intercepted by Higby through two defenders. Missed everything, but a blocking foul. And that's going to send Jed Higdon to the free throw line as the whistle is against Keaton Smith. That is his second. In fact, Smith has now both of the fouls for the Preston Pirates. Jed Higdon will go to the free throw line. Last year, he was there 84 times and made 49 for 58%. Bale last year was a very good foul shooting team. First Higdon free throw is an air ball. And that will get the cat calls out as Levi Kelly comes out and promising freshman Denton Forsyth makes his varsity debut, a 5'11 freshman. In a championship game for the eighth grade team last year, had 39 of their 41 points. Second foul shot by Higdon is good in the timeout. It's a 30 second timeout, 3.04 to play, first period. 10 to 3 the lead for Preston. Dale's last loss came to Cashin in the eighth to last game from the end of the season a year ago. They won their last seven and looking to extend that win streak here tonight. In no Dayton Forsyth, he is in street clothes down below. That was something that the Pirates knew all week long was going to happen, but they kept it as hush-hush as they could so that Preston would not have any idea before Dale rolled into town. It's only a one-game suspension, and it is true that if you're ejected from a ball game, you serve a suspension in the next contest. I don't know that it's fair carried over from one sport to the next. 10-3 with three minutes to play here in the first period. This is a good opportunity, though, for the rest of the Pirates. Into the front court, Bagby. Veers left. Jet Higdon cuts him off. He runs over Jet, and the charge has been taken. Terreffin Bagby with his first. And guess who it was? Jet Higdon. That's his 12th of the last two years. The Pirates' defense keeping them afloat as they have no field goals with 2.47 to play here in the first period, yet trail just seven. Denton Forsyth to Easton Edmondson, top of the circle. It's a zone defense by Preston. It starts out as a 3-2. Edmondson will trigger straight on, missed it. Rebound tipped up by Jones. Higdon fighting for it. And Gorey comes out of there with it. He'll gallop up the left sideline for the Preston Pirates. He attacks, had it poked free. Chambers comes out of there with it. Jones forced the turnover. Trey all the way to the goal, and the layup is good. It'll be at one for the 6-6 sophomore. It's already team foul number four against the Preston Pirates, and Chase Littlejohn is a little bit upset as that cost Bagby his second personal foul. In fact, Smith and Bagby, a pair of seniors, have two fouls each. Free throw is on the way by Chambers. It is short. So with 2.20 to play in the first period, the Pirates of Dale get their first points of the year for the floor. They trail 10 to 5. Jervis Gorey into the front court to Bagby. Hands it back to Jervis. Drive it against Edmondson left. Bounces it to Webb, top of the circle. Two minutes in Canada play first period. 10-5, Gorey will let fly a three, it's short. Well defended that time by Easton. It's a deep three, off the rim it is Jones. All the way to the goal, scoops, can't score. Rebound tipped up by Bagby twice, it's taken away by Chambers. Trey then, it's gonna be tied up underneath 
by Jaden Smith, the sophomore, an athletic looking young man that just checked in a moment ago for Little John's team. Preston won the opening tip. Dale gets the first jump ball possession of the night with 147 to play in the first period. 10-5, both teams struggling to score early as Chambers gets a lob pass for the paint and goes back up and in. Trey Chambers with both baskets now for Dale and all of a sudden it could be a two point game if Trey can hit this basket. Levi Kelly will replace Jet Higdon to the floor. So there is still only one reserve off the bench and the first one of the night is Denton Forsyth who came in a moment ago. Jaden Smith with his first foul. Chambers foul shot is up and it's too strong. Deacon Jones with his motor always running, saves the rebound inbounds. To Kelly, left side to Easton. Edmondson to Forsyth, drives, steps it to Chambers, way up for scoring, it's a one point game. Six straight from Trayton Chambers. And it's 10 to nine in favor of Preston. 119 to play here in the opening period. Preston's scoring drought is over three and a half minutes in duration. Gorey tried to cross court and it's deflected. Chambers with a steal up ahead to Kelly who tried to save it in bounds and then Chambers couldn't retrieve it. Trying to step around Gorey and it's going to be a turnover. 113 to play in the first period. The Dale Pirates have come alive behind Trey Chambers six straight from the floor. He's the only Pirate with a basket with 73 seconds to go here in the first period. Webb between the circles for Karefer and Bagby. Left side to Liggins, out front to Jaden Smith. Smith hands it off to Gorey, gets a screen, moves left, draws a double, cross courts it again for Bagby. Boy, Dale's defense is really good right now. A lot of energy on that end of the floor. Gorey with the basketball, guarded by Kelly who claps his hands. Gellett, uh, Gorey, he up steps and scores. Jervis Gorey has some words to say as that one drops. 13 to nine, 33 seconds to play here in the first period. Deacon Jones, Chambers, Trey to Deacon out front, left front court. The lob at left quarter, Kelly for three, no good. Gorey runs down the rebound. It was 10 to two, Preston. Dale got within one in the Gorey three in the last possession has staked the Pirates back to a four-point lead. Gorey has doubled, now tripled, and he lost the ball in a bounds right in front of the Pirates bench. So many times I think people don't appreciate, if you don't follow this team closely, how good they are defensively, how hard they work on that end. Chambers had the pass taken away from him as he tried to go up in front of the rim by Liggins. And the pass in the backcourt knocked away out of bounds by Denton Forsythe. Everybody thinks about the big names. They think about the big gaudy scores, but the defense has been unbelievable. Gorey from just behind half court lets it fly and it's short. We've played eight minutes to the season opener for the Pirates in Preston. Preston leads Dale 13 to nine. This is Pirates basketball on DalePirates.tv powered by Squirtle. I can't talk if I'm not off. Just let's go. Todd Miller back here with you at Jim Waller Event Center in Preston. 13 to 9. The Preston Pirates lead over Dale at the end of one. Jervis Gorey with 10 points to lead all scores. Trey Chambers has six, including all three field goals for Dale's Pirates. Eight minutes into the ball game. Preston has it to start the second period. Gorey to Webb on a cross-court pass. He drives, Kelly cuts him off. Deep three again by Gorey, airballed, and D uh, Denton Forsythe has it. His pass knocked out of bounds. Jaden Smith last touched it, so now the Pirates will inbound with 7.44 to play here in the first half. They've been looking uphill all night long, but they're within striking distance. 
Deacon Jones to Edmondson, right side. Kelly, a deep three, got it! <laughs> Levi Kelly with the first three ball of the season for the Pirates, and they're within one of Preston. 13 to 10, 7.21 to play here in the first half. Out high, Tucker Webb between the circles, it's Bagby, and he reverses it, stole it away by Forsythe. Didn't to the goal, layoff is good! And the Pirates have their first lead at 14 to 13 on the first varsity career basket and steal for Denton Forsythe. Seven minutes to play of the half, it's 14-13, good Pirates. Gorey with it between the circles. Easton is out there with him. They lob it to Webb, back out front to Gorey. Guarded by Easton Edmondson, they set a screen with Jaden Smith. They're able to fight through it. Now Deacon Jones is guarding Jervis Gorey one-on-one. Gorey from the top of the circle, jump passes. Liggins quarter three open, no. Rattled off, Deacon Jones for the rebound. Tipped it to himself. Dale by one with the basketball. Jones down the paint, goes right back. Gorey, the layup is good. Deacon Jones coast to coast for the bucket. And it's now a 5-0 run for Dale. They're within, they're, they lead by three, 16 to 13. Gorby pressured out front. Webb back to Jervis. Dale did a good job on him. He drives. Gorby, uh, Gorey had it poked away. Preston gets it to leave it left quarter. The three rolls out. And the rebound of the Pirates. Up ahead to Higby. Higdon pulls up from six. Miss strong. Rebound to Jervis Gordon. Under six minutes to play in the first half, 16 to 13. Crossover dribble, Gorey's pinched off of the block. Out high to Webb. Left wing it goes for Bagby in the corner to Lickens. Great defense again by Dale. They are all over the floor against this Pirates attack. Gorey with it top of the key. Edmondson stays with him. Now they come high, set a screen. Jaden Smith, Gorey to the left, cut off at the circle. Back out high, it's Webb. Curls into the paint, shuffled his feet, got by with it. Now to Gorey for a long three and he got it. Name is tied, but it should have been Dale basketball. They missed a travel as clear as day. 5-18 to play in the first half. We're tied at 16. It's our first tie of the night. Deacon Jones to Easton Edmondson out front. Edmondson to Forsyth. Right corner to Kelly. Drives. Levi throws it up. Not a great shot. It was short. Higman with the rebound. And Higman is going to be called for a travel. 16 apiece, 11 minutes in to the ball game. Jeff Edmondson will take out Easton Edmondson to reinstate Trey Chambers, who has six of the 16 points. Chambers has six, five from Levi Kelly. Those are the two scorers early for Dale. Jervis Gorey with it right side, angles. Now tries to get to the corner. Kelly cuts him off, it's Webb. Stutter steps top of the circle. Out high is Bagby, to referent, bounces to Webb, off the dribble, pulls up, baseline, missed it. Deacon Jones skies for the rebound. Deacon up the right sideline, veers to the corner, turns the corner, drives underneath the basket, cross courts it, four sides, three, no good. It was on line, but a little long. Deacon Jones with the rebound, backs down, was being grabbed, spins away and scores. There's the strength of Deacon Jones, 18-16. Deacon stepping up in a big way. 4.15 to play, he's done that his entire career, his third year with the Dale Pirates. He comes in with 538 career points to his credit. Webb, right side, will hand it off to Gorey. Gorey is trapped, now is bumped by Kelly at midcourt, and they're gonna call a foul on Levi. It'll be his first, and that's only the fourth against the Dale Pirates. Halfway through the second period, 18-16 Dale. Edmondson will come in, and Deacon Jones is going to check out. Don't mind if I stand up and applaud that young man. Preston basketball. They set it out front, down by two. Bagby left side. Liggins in the corner. Carrefour to the baseline. Backy down against Higdon. Now pivots Jet with good defense. Kicks it left wing. Liggins to Webb. He'll drive against Kelly. Leaves it left quarter. Great move that time of the big guy Bagby to get into the paint. He's fouled. Whistle goes against Jet Hickton. That's his second. So Hickton has two of the five Pirates fouls. As going to the free throw line will be Kareferin Bagby, a senior. He has a three-point basket his first of the year. Now he'll go to the stripe for the first time for Preston in two games, and he back rims the free throw. 
Preston was 14 of 19 of their season opening 16 point win over Okarchi here last week. Okarchi managed 11 of 18 free throw shooting so far. Dale has been to the line seven times. They've made just three of seven. Second free throw, no good. Higdon with a rebound. So two misses, keeping a two point Dale game with three and a half minutes to play here for the first half. We are in Preston. We are at Jim Waller Event Center. Dale's girls have lost. Boys trying to garner a split. Forsyth underneath the basket. Edmondson to Kelly for three. Bang! He got it. Levi Kelly knocks the eyes out of his second three. And the Dale Pirates have a five-point lead with 3.06 to play here in the first half. Gloria across midcourt. Guarded by Easton Edmondson. He dribbles between the legs. Backs it out top of the circle. Tucker Webb to Jervis. Right of a screen from Smith, turns into a triple team, nearly had it taken away, and then he's going to be called for a travel. Oh, they're going to call a foul against Dale. They're calling the foul against Trey Chambers, and that is his first. Well, I hate to tell you, there may have been contact, but Gorey was waltzing like Fred Astaire on the hardwood. And again, no whistle. 21-16 with 2.45 to play here in the first half. Gorey drives around Edmondson, goes up over the swiping right arm of Denton Forsyth and lays it in. Gorey has all but one of the seven baskets made by the Preston Pirates tonight. 21-18. Deacon Jones is back out there. Left corner, Levi Kelly. Can he hit three in a row? No. Misses short. Deacon tries to run to the rebound, and Jones' momentum takes him out of bounds. Edmondson, Kelly, Chambers, Denton Forsyth, and Deacon Jones out there right now for Jeff Edmondson's club. Looking for career victory, number 420 at Dale and at Meeker. Gorey bounces it right elbow for Bagby. They trap him. He kicks it out on a pivot to Webb. Webb, right circle, needs some help. Lost his dribble, Liggins on a cross-court pass. Drives in, pulls up left-handed, shot no good. Not a real high percentage shot. He wasn't completely vertical. And the Pirates with a rebound. Easton Edmondson dribbles between the legs, left baseline. He'll go back front to Jones. Through the defense, Jones kicks it left corner. Easton's three, go! Easton Edmondson knocks down the three. That is his 26th as a two-year starter for his dad at Dale. It's a six-point Pirates lead, 24-18 with a minute 41 to play here in the first half. Gorey, who leads all scores in the ball game with 15 points, is trapped by Jones and Edmondson. Out high, it's Jaden Smith. Touches it back to Gorey before the trap comes. Jervis working near the Preston Pirates logo center circle. Drives and a foul. They're going to call it on Deacon Jones, and he's pretty demonstrative about it. He thought he had a clean strip. It'll be a one and one after the first foul on Deacon Jones tonight. That's the seventh against Dale, and Gorey will be at the free throw line. He was... Pretty good in their season opening win. Over 65% for the line last Friday night. Root to 21 points. Foul shot is good. So he has 16 of the 19 points. Karefren Bagby has made the other field goal, and that's it of the 19. Now 20 as Gorey swishes down the second free throw. Well, that make the Preston Pirates 2 of 4 for the foul line. Dale's lead, its biggest of six, is down to four, 24-20. One seventeen to play opening half. Higdon down low to Chambers, goes up over a double team. Back rims it, missed it, and the ball poked out of bounds by Chambers. Preston basketball. Trey starting tonight with Dayton Forsyth not available, serving the one-game suspension, but Chambers is going to play huge minutes. He played last year in 17 of the 31 games for Jeff Edmondson's club. A minute to play here in the first half, 24-20 Dale. Tucker Webb around the top of the key, picks his dribble up, Jones guards him. Now it's Bagby between the rings to Gorey on a handoff. Under a minute to play here in the second period, 24-20 our score. Tucker Webb against Deacon Jones, pivots out high as Karefren Bagby. He's doubled by Jones and Higdon. And a foul called at midcourt. That is on Denton Forsyth for a block that's Forsyth's first. And that will send Karefren Bagby, who's already missed two free throws, to the line for a one and one. Eighth foul and a half against Dale with 45 and a half seconds to play before intermission. 
Free throw is up, and it's good. Here comes Levi Kelly in, and they will go small as they'll take Trey Chambers out of the lineup. This to count at once, six-point advantage for Dale, down to two. Free throw is up, but it's good. So he looked much better on those two free throws. He has five. 4-0, Preston run. 24-22, Dale with the basketball. Easton Edmondson looks to his dad, Jeff, on the bench and gets the instructions. A half minute to play in the first half. Kicked into the baseline. Jump passes to Forsythe, to Kelly for three. Get it out for the right circle. Rebound run down by Gorey, and they're going to get Deacon Jones for a bump foul. Jones was just hustling after the basketball and made contact with Jervis Gorey, who's going to go to the line for two more. 17 of the 22 points for Dale with 22.6 seconds to play of the half belong to this outstanding junior. Deep knee bend, foul shot up and good. Complete player, he was 6 of 12 shooting against Okarchi here on Friday night. Second one is good. Stay with us at halftime, Will Jones visits with Eddie Jeffcoat. The head coach of your 2A or Class A Dale State Champion baseball team. 14 seconds to play in the half. 6 0, Preston run. Now Dale's going to play for the final shot. Kelly bounces it for Higdon on the baseline. Jet jump passes. Edmondson reverses. Forsyth corner three. Got it! Two seconds, one second to play in the half. And Gorey will heave behind half court. It is well off the mark. And Denton Forsyth will give o uh, Dale the lead going into the locker room, 27-24. to Stay tuned. Coming up after this break, we will have Will's interview with Eddie Jeffcoat at halftime in Preston. Dale 27, the Preston Pirates 24 on DalePirates.tv, uh, powered by Squirtle. Okay, welcome to our pregame show on DellPirate.tv. DellPirates.tv. I'm here with Coach Eddie Jeff Coach, and uh, this isn't baseball season, but we had a memorable baseball season, and that's why uh, you're here for our pregame for our, to start our, our initial pregame for the start of basketball season. Welcome to Coach Jeff Coach. Uh, Coach Jeff Coach, I'm new here, um, and so there may be other new people out there. Uh, just give me give me some of your background. Where are you, where are you from originally? Well, I'm originally from Bochita, Oklahoma. I graduated there in 1990. Uh, from there, I played baseball at University of Central Oklahoma, graduated from there. Um, and then uh, from there, you, you started your coaching career. Where, 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 how long have you been coaching? I've been coaching 23 years. Uh, started coaching at Washington High School was mm -hmm. my first coaching experience and teaching experience and then moved on a few a few places since then. Okay, just a few? Just a few. Okay, well, none of them quite compared to Dale. Absolutely. Uh, you, you've won your second state championship now um, here and we won our, our, our against Silo in the fall, in the fall state championship game uh, back in early October. Um, some, some unique things about our season I think that we need to discuss is uh, man, just a gauntlet of the schedule. Um, I, re I saw some graphic or, or something maybe on Twitter that, um, you know, we only had 24 wins, which is not a great total for a championship team, but not a lot of those championship teams played a schedule quite like we did. Uh, our, our schedule was extremely tough. Um, as I was looking back at it, I think we were the only state tournament team that played every team in the state tournament in the regular season. Uh, that's pretty impressive, and you know, maybe had we played a, a lesser schedule, maybe had a higher ranking, maybe wouldn't have flown under the radar quite so much. But at the same time, maybe wouldn't as would have been as battle tested uh, for that that great run you had, really from the uh, Constellation Regional Championship game all the way through the state tournament. Yes, and you know, a lot of people, you know, the schedule week to try and get ranked. A little bit different for us. We want to play the best competition we can 
to get us prepared for that state tournament? Uh, so you win a state championship, uh, compare it to the one you won in 2019. Uh, obviously both of them was great. Uh, this one was probably more exciting in the fact that we were under the radar, you know, we were ranked eighth going into the state tournament. Salo had already beaten us twice, Rattan had already beaten us, you know, and we played Rattan the first round. And uh, So looking at it, it was just uh, more exciting in the fact that what we achieved, you know. Uh, in 2019, we weren't, I think we were ranked fourth going into the state tournament. So. Uh, but we had also played Silo that year and beat them, so we knew, you know, we had a very good chance if we got to the final, we had a good chance. But this year, like I said, I don't think anybody was giving us any chance except for ourselves. Uh, I had no idea. I knew I was going to hand out some hardware that day, but the way we started off was just unreal in that game. Uh, very hot. I mean, obviously, it was the second inning when we put up a lot of runs, and then all of a sudden you start thinking, oh man, we got a chance to maybe hand it out uh, some, some gold material instead of the silver. You worked, uh, uh, did you, you worked for uh, uh, the silo coach uh, at another place, or, or you I, played for him? I played for him. Uh, coach Bowen was my high school coach. coach. Yes. yes. Okay. And so you have a good relationship with him? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I got to meet him at, uh, at that regional consolation final. Uh, obviously, he said some wonderful things about you. I uh, said you're the best in the business. And that's, obviously, he's, he's uh, had an incredible career. He's an understatement. Um, but um, what's it like to play against a mentor in, in such a big environment? Uh, it is... I don't know how to word this. If we, I have so much respect for him. He, he's done so much for me. Um, it, and people would think it's, you know, maybe a rivalry between us two because we're Dale and Silo, Silo. But if we weren't playing each other, and I know if you interviewed him, he'd say the exact same thing. If we're not playing each other, I root for him. And if, he, if we're not playing, he roots for me. You know, yeah. So with, when we're playing each other, it's a little awkward because right. we want to win, but we also want something good for the other one to happen. But it's hard when you're playing each other. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But, and just plus two such prestigious baseball schools, kind of unique, yes. unique, unique dynamic for sure. Um, well, so you had uh, tell me about some of the seniors this year um, as they kind of obviously have another season left. But, um, you know, just to see them finish off their careers in their senior year with the championship. Uh, we have four seniors, uh, J.B. Lever, Tate Rector, uh, Cash Benbrunt, and Dason Shepard. Um, uh, you know, look for them to just keep getting better. You know, uh, I think they uh, – all are in off-season baseball, so they're all going to get a chance to continue working out and getting better before the spring. Tate Rector was hurt this fall. We're going to actually get him back for the spring, so that's going to help us overall. He was last spring. He was probably our best hitter last spring. We didn't have him this fall, so getting him back is going to help us also. Yeah, that would be nice. JB was big in that regional consolation final. I think also got us started in the state tournament. Yes. Um, off on the right foot against Rattan. So um, he, was, he was big in some moments, and then uh, I believe um, um, any other moments you want to talk about for those seniors that were big? Shepard was big in the state championship game. He had a great day that day. Yeah. Uh, you know, JB really came on, like you were saying earlier, how we kind of started rolling mm -hmm. towards the end. JB threw really well through the playoffs, uh, just really pitched it really well for us. I thought the first game of the state tournament was maybe our most important game because yeah. Rattan's really good yeah. and they'd already beaten us. And uh, we had talked about, hey, just get by the first day and then we'll worry about the next day. And he threw well and, and that game and got us going. 
Yeah, uh, it was an unbelievable season, and for me as a, as a new guy, man, it's great to really experience Dale baseball in a championship season. Uh, my first few months here at Dale, and, and uh, certainly something I'll never forget, and I know you won't either. So, congratulations on, on a championship season, and, and uh, hopefully, look forward to more to come. Well, thank you. Correct. 6.49 to play here in the third period. Deacon Jones backs it out for the foul line near the Preston Pirates center circle loco. Preston still in that zone. They've been in all night long. Jones angles left on the wing with it is Kelly. Two dribbles, cross courts it for Chambers. Trey drives, pump fakes, goes up, tough angle. Missed it off the front rim of the rebound. Controlled by Liggins. Malachi Liggins to Gorey into the front court. He jump passes to Bagby left side. 6.15 to play here in the third, and Preston gets sloppy and turns it over. Chase Littlejohn, and rightfully so, did not care for that sloppy possession. Chase from Stillwell, Oklahoma, and played four years at Rogers State. Married to women's basketball coach Riley Littlejohn. Kelly to Higdon, lace line left. Jet turns left to right, one hands it, and missed it back rim. Rebound to Karefer and Bagby. Two minutes and 15 seconds into the third period. Dale has not scored. It's a one-point lead for the Pirates. 27-26 at Preston. Malachi Liggins against Deacon Jones right side. Bagby through the top of the circle. They reverse it left side for Keaton Smith. Natagori to Webb. Preston being very, very patient against this Dale defense. Between the rings with it is Bagby, and he throws it away. So a second straight empty possession and both have been on poor passes. Little John was two steps out of the floor and Chase was screaming that time at Karefer and Bagby. 524 to play, third period, 27 to 26, Dale in a battle of Pirates. Two of the 15 schools in Oklahoma that share the same mascot of Pirates. Higdon drives underneath the basket from left to right, jump passes to Edmondson. Approaching three minutes gone here in the third period, a little Step back move by Kelly is online, but short. Gorey with a rebound. Dale got off to an ice cold start, didn't score for almost four minutes from the field. And Gorey drives and lays it in. And Preston has scored four straight for their leading score. They lead again 28 27. 5 11 gone here, or 3 11 gone here this third period. Easton Edmondson pulls up, angle left. Shot was blocked, but a foul. Clearly the ball was blocked, but there was body contact. And Easton Edmondson is going to go to the foul line after Malachi Liggins' first personal foul. Edmondson last year from the free throw line was only 12 of 18. Didn't get there a lot in 31 ball games. And the sophomore hits the first free throw. These guys love each other. They love playing the game. They just like being together. And it shows when you watch them at the hardwood. No egos whatsoever. Second one is good, and the lead goes back in front of Dale, 29-28. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here with 447 to play. I will be away for the microphone at Bing in the next game next week. Looking forward, though, to a great season with the Dale Pirate boys and girls. If you're watching around the state on Squirtle.tv, and you're wondering the status on 
Dayton Forsyth, and didn't hear earlier, he was suspended by the OSSAA after being ejected to the third inning of the state championship game for an illegal slide in Dale's title victory over Silo. As I said, rules are rules, you understand that, but boy, you hate to see it carry over from one sport to the next. Trip forced to play in the third, 29-28. Smith with it out high. Bigby, left side, Gorey, shots blocked by Easton. Edmondson with the rebound off of his own block. Edmondson spins into the front court, now spins back to the wing, accelerates through the paint, pulls up from 13, and rattles it home. Easton Edmondson is a heady basketball player. You can tell he's the son of a coach. He has four straight and seven of the ball camp. 31-28. The run is four straight off from Edmondson as the Dale Pirates retake control. Tucker Webb. Kelly fell down. Webb resets right side. That goes for Keaton Smith to Gorey. Little step, jab, step. Chambers is out there, and Gorey tried to reverse it and threw it away. It's off of Smith's hands. Preston has really lost some focus with some sloppy turnovers here in this third period as Kelly will check out and Denton Forsyth will come in. Levi's minutes being massaged. He's coming off a dual leg injury with the calf and a hamstring that's kept him sidelined quite a bit of the fall practice. Higdon drives right, spins to the block, gets it out high to Chambers. Trey, two dribbles to Edmondson. Edmondson loops the pass to Chambers. Two long steps going down the paint, missed it. Trey tears to the rebound, goes back up. Shot blocked by Keaton Smith. Lead is 3, 31-28 uh, Dale. Under three and a half to play here in the third period. Gorey tries to drive. Didn't Forsyth cuts him off. Now they'll bounce it for Karefer and Bagby. Bagby cut off by Hickton on the baseline. Pivots, now he's doubled by Jones. Kick out to Liggins, his three is short for the right wing. Chambers with a rebound. Up ahead for Forsyth, Denton crosses over, gets to the goal, lays it up and he missed it. Ends up sliding out of bounds to the baseline. He'll get a hand from Deacon Jones. And he'll go to the free throw line after Malachi Liggins is called for his second foul. So both of the whistles here, five minutes into the third period have gone against the homestanding Pirates. Denton Forsyth will go to the line for the first time in his varsity career. And had a great, great junior high career. First free throw is up, and it's good. Grew up playing against his older brothers, Dallin and Dayton. He's grown up quite honestly playing with a lot of the guys on this team that really aren't that much older than he is. Second foul shot, good. The clutch free throws by the Pirates, and Dale leads by five. Their biggest lead was briefly six in the second period. Under three minutes to go here in the third. Out high is Keaton Smith to Gorey. Easton Edmondson stays on him and a blocking foul. Easton Edmondson thought he was set, so did Jeff, his dad at the other end, but Edmondson is going to pick up the foul, and that's going to be his second. 33-28, to play here in the third period. Bounce pass, left corner. Keaton Smith hands it off to Gorey and a foul against Deacon Jones. They handed it. Back to Gorey, and Deacon picked up his third personal foul. And just like that, that is the second team foul against Dale. 33-28, 2.49 to play here in the third period. Tucker Webb, baseline left to inbound. Bounces it for Smith. Keaton against Jones and Chambers is double. Leaves it out high. Bagby to Liggins. One hands a pass in front of us for Jervis Gorey. Gorey against Denton Forsyth. Slides right. Edmondson stays with him. Gorey tries to get in the paint. Easton cuts him off. Forsyth doubles. Now they cross court at left corner. Bagby turns to the three to Liggins out high. Liggins being pestered by Denton Forsyth. Back to Bagby. Left wing for Webb. 2-10 to play here in the third. An offensive foul. Offensive foul. That's called against Bagby, and I think Higdon may have baited him into that one. The crowd on the far side of Jim Waller Event Center here in Preston doesn't care for the call. Third turnover of the night for the Preston Pirates. Just over two minutes to play in the third, 33-28 Dale. Right wing three by Forsyth is online but short. Higdon with the rebound, goes back up, and it's surrounded down. Jet with the stick back as his first basket, his third point. 
Averaged just a tick under eight a year ago. 147 to play in the third, 35-28. And Deacon Jones thought he had forced a turnover, knocking the ball off of Liggins. They say it was off Jones. So Preston right in front of us will inbound the basketball. The Dale Pirates have a seven-point lead. It is their biggest of the night with 150 to play here in the third. Jervis Gorey against Denton Forsythe. Easton Edmondson has taken his turn on him as well. Deacon Jones has. Gorey on a handoff between the rings to Smith. Gorey's three, no good. Chambers out of position for the rebound. Magby has it to a cutter. The layup is good. That's Smith, Keaton Smith. Keaton Smith with his first bucket. That was a much needed possession to turn out positive for Preston. 117 to play, 35-30 here in the third quarter from Preston. Deacon Jones, right quarter, holds it above his head. They sag off of him. Jones puts it on the floor, goes up, and a jump ball. Keaton Smith blocked the shot. Deacon Jones thought he was fouled as he ended up in the paint. That's going to end up as a blocked shot and a turnover for the Pirates. Didn't Forsyth with a little bit of pressure in the backcourt. They clear out. Gorey now will bring it up the right sideline with a minute to play here for the third. 35-30, Dale Pirates. Lob pass to Keaton Smith. Back to Gorey. Gorey against Forsyth. Backs it back out, left front court. 48 seconds to play here for the third. Gorey doubled now by Edmondson. Cross courts it. Smith takes a step and lays it in. Smith with four straight for Preston. And he went right into the body that time of Trey Chambers. 35-33, half a minute to play here in the third period. Dale trying to win their eighth in a row, taking back to last year's capper in the state championship game. Deacon Jones, Easton Edmondson out front. Denton Forsythe drives, throws it up off the glass, missed it. Denton battling, kept it alive. Chambers has it, goes back up and in. Great hustle by Denton Forsythe to keep the possession alive, and Chambers gets the putback. 37-32, Dale. Four seconds to play. Gorey will put on a three up front. It rolls off. Rebound to Deacon Jones. He'll heave from behind half court, and it is no good. But the Dale Pirates are eight minutes away from winning their season opener here in Preston. They lead 37 to 32. We'll be back right after this on DalePirates.tv, powered by Squirtle. Start of the fourth quarter from Preston. Jim Waller Event Center at Preston ball. High School, 37-32. Todd Miller with you on opening night for Dale Pirates basketball. We'll be with you for much of the season here on DalePirates.tv. Dale basketball. Jones steps into a long two right wing. Missed it. Smith with the rebound, Smith with the rebound to Gorey up the right sideline. 7.35 to play. Gorey with a stutter step. Drives deep. Forsyth cuts him off. Now it's Bagby. Bagby pivots, is tied up by Deacon Jones, and Preston will keep possession of the arrow. 7.29 to play, 37-32. to Thanks for staying with us. Despite our technical problems tonight, those will be ironed out going forward. Appreciate the job of the crew. Bagby gets the inbounds pass from Webb, returns it to Tucker. Tucker works right, trying to cross court it. Forsyth nearly had the interception. Gorey drives around, Denton cuts him off, right side to Webb for three, hit the rim and bounces in. Got a friendly high bounce off the iron, and it's a two-point game with 7.15 to play, 37 to 35 in this battle of Pirates. Forsyth, left side, Denton to Levi Kelly. Kelly has gone quiet here in the second half. Chambers slides in with a double team, feeds it to Jones, double clutches, layup good. 
The assist to Trey Chambers, and it's 39-35. 6.44 to play in the ball camp. Gorey Smith, Keaton back to Jervis, attacks right, and got his feet tangled up with Denton Forsythe, who will be called for his second. That should be and is the third team foul against Dale here in the second half. Jet Higdon will come in and replace Trey Chambers, who's had a really good game tonight. Making his first career start in the absence of Dayton Forsythe. Inbounds pass right side. Gorey tries to probe, takes a jab step. Denton Forsythe cuts him out. Good defense by the freshman. Gorey goes around him. Now it's cut off to Webb out front. The reset to Liggins left corner. With under six and a half to play. Dale by four. Pressed over the basketball. Liggins out of control. Ran over Edmondson. No whistle. Gorey steps into a three. No good. That was defended well by Forsythe. Jones the rebound. Speeds back the other way. Around Smith. Missed it left-handed. Gorey with a rebound. And now Preston will attack. They don't have the numbers, but Gorey threw two defenders and he blew the way up. Jervis Gorey missed a layup that would have cut the lead in half for Dale. Jones at the other end had it stripped. Hickton goes up. It's blocked by Smith. Rebound by Preston. A lot going on. Not much points here in the first 210 of the third or fourth period. Bagby, Gorey, right side, out of control, and a foul called against Edmondson. That's the third on Easton. I don't know that Easton was set, but I can tell you this, Gorey was completely out of control. Edmondson may be about to come out of the ball game. He's shaking his head. He is disgusted as Chambers comes in. 39-35. They've used three different defenders on Gorey tonight, and quite honestly, they've done a good job. Denton Forsythe is back out there on him after Gorey inbounds. Left corner with it is Smith. He pivots, and we get a timeout called from downstairs and Chase Littlejohn. 5.46 to play in regulation. The defending 2A state champions in a battle with Preston playing shorthanded 39-35. I mentioned that this is a chance for a great statement win for the Dale Pirates. Casual observers that only know this program because of one player would tell you that that's why they have done what they have done. That is absolutely not true. There are terrific, terrific basketball players, high caliber basketball players on Jeff Edmondson's roster. They're having a chance to make a statement tonight and get a really good road win against a Preston team that should have a good season in Class 2A as well. The Preston Pirates have everybody back from a team that lost by three in the area consolation finals to Oklahoma Union last year, 56-53. Tucker Webb to inbound the basketball out of the timeout. Lobs it for Keaton Smith, right front court. Winding towards 5.40 to play of the ball game, 39-35, Dale. Smith angles left, Chambers stays with him. Now he backs Trey down, it's doubled by Higdon. Leaves it out high to Webb, defender Kelly fell down, Webb's three is good. Seven-point lead, down to one, 39-38 for Dale, 5.15 to play. Jones angles through the paint, bounces to Kelly, goes back door, the layup is good. Levi Kelly with his third basket, he now has 10 to start his sophomore season, and it's 41-38, 5.05 to play. Gorey guarded by Denton Forsythe out high. Right side, it's Tucker Webb. Webb to Gorey, Gorey. Drives against Kelly after Forsythe had gambled for the steal. Dale forces him to reset. Gorey down the paint, throws it up off balance. Good defense that time. Levi Kelly forced him into a terrible shot. Hicked in the rebound to Levi. Up ahead to Jones, throws up a runner, airballed it. Rebound to Keaton Smith with 4.38 to play. Lead is three. Liggins for the tie, missed it left corner. Nothing but red jerseys around the hoop to secure the rebound. It's Forsythe. And now Denton is going to walk it across midcourt. Jeff Edmondson is up off the bench, directly off to our right, saying, let's slow this thing down. 4-12 to play in regulation, a three-point lead. Chambers whips it right. Kelly, another three. That one is short, well short, and Gorey has the rebound. Jervis into the front court right. Forsyth jumps up there to his face. He goes around Denton, double clutches to the goal, missed it, and draws the foul on Higdon. Jet didn't care for it. He's jumping around underneath the basket, but that's going to be his third. 
So Gorey will be at the free throw line. Team foul number five against the Dale Pirates midway through this fourth period. First free throw by Gorey is up, but it's good. He's five of five of the free throw line. That is seven straight makes for Preston of the stripe after Karefren Bagby missed the first two to begin the ball game. Second one is up, and that one is good. Gregory hits both, and it's 41-40. Halfway through the fourth period. Don't go anywhere here on DalePirates.tv, powered by Scordell. Easton Edmondson, Higman, Jet. To Jones, back to Higdon, down low to Chambers, kicks it out to Jones, right wing. They swing it across the floor, Edmondson to Forsyth. He probes his way in, scoops it up and in. That is not a move a freshman makes. Didn't Forsyth does, but both freshmen don't. 43-40, three and a half to play here in the fourth quarter. Jervis Gorey dribbles between the circles. Dale trying to start 1-0 with a trip to Bing and Amber Pocasset before coming home to face Latta. Late November, Webb to Gorey out front, guarded by Denton Forsyth. Now Gorey spins away, drives around Edmondson, draws a double, funnels a pass to Bagby. Pushed off against Hickman, laid it up, and he missed it. That's poetic justice. He dipped his shoulder into Jet. There was no whistle, and he missed the bunny, and Dale leads by three. Under three minutes to play, 43-40. Deacon Jones probes his way, now backs it out left front court. They're going to go to work on the clock. So one possession game, Deacon Jones spins in, lays it up, and missed it. Famous last words, huh? They're going to go to work on the clock. Foul is against Malachi Liggins. That is his third of the team's fourth. And it's starting to get late here at Jim Waller Event Center in Preston. 43-40 is our score on DalePirates.tv. Deacon Jones with everybody off the paint. Misses the first free throw. Deacon last year was a 72% free throw shooter. He went to the line 90 times, converted 65. This is his first free throws of his junior season. Second one is up, and that one is good. Deacon Jones with seven tonight. He averaged just a tick under 12 a year ago, 11.9 to be exact. 44-40, that was a big bank. It's a two possession game. 239 to play. They bounce it to Bagby, high post right. He reverses to Gorey, draws us over around. Forsyth and Banks are runner in. Gorey now has nine field goals. Preston as a team has 14. 44 42. 219 to play. Jed Higdon with it left circle. Deacon Jones in the quarter. Thought about a three. Liggins jumps out there with him. Now Jones tries to drive. Liggins cuts him off and cross courts it to Forsyth. Ditton to Jet on the right block, drop step move, put him in a spin cycle, and he took steps to do it. Levi Kelly is going to come in and replace Denton Forsyth. 44 42 the score, 2 11 to play. Dale's girls tonight led by 13 in the first period, 12 in the second, and fell by 7 44 37. A cold shooting night with a ton of turnovers for the Lady Pirates. Bagby. Bounces it over the left side, Jervis Gorey. Right of a screen from Bagby. Higdon defends the basketball. They bounce it down low, a mismatch in size. Bagby post goes up against Kelly in. Edmondson and drops it home. Kareferin Bagby ties the game at 44 with 139 to play in regulation. Chambers goes right to work, shoots over a double team, trying to bank it in, it's spun off. From in front of the rim, Keaton Smith with a rebound. Chase Littlejohn up off the bench. 117 to play. We're tied at 44. A lot of time, but will they try to milk it down and let Gorey maybe be a hero? Ed Easton Edmondson is going to sheet out there on him. Now Deacon Jones doubles. They go to Smith right wing, back to Gorey in the front court. Under a minute to play in the ball game. We're tied at 44. Preston with a basketball. Gorey spins, draws a double to cut Liggins back door. He finds him and he lays it in. It's a good set. 46-44, Preston. 43 seconds to go from Preston. The crowd really coming alive across the way. Chambers through the paint right to left. Kelly right of a screen. Probes his way to the high post. Cut off right of the paint to Chambers out front. 34 seconds to play. Spins and lays it in. Craden Chambers with his 10th basket 
And it's tied at 46, and now Preston can play for the final shot with 23 seconds and counting to play. Easton Edmondson against Goring, right front court. 15 seconds to play in the ball game. We're tied at 46. Gorey against Easton Edmondson. 10 seconds to go play. He's going to go. Edmondson in a timeout now called by Chase Littlejohn with 8.8 .8 seconds to play. The game is tied at 46. We're going to keep it right here. It is a 60 second Preston timeout. The Preston Pirates with a chance to make a early season statement with a win over the defending 2A state champions. Dale had a terrific preseason camp. They went down to Texas, the Elite 14 scrimmages a couple of weeks ago and knocked off defending Texas 3A state champion Dallas Madison. They beat another Texas club in that one day two scrimmage event. They also scrimmaged North Rock Creek and looked pretty good in that affair. All leading up to tonight's season opener against Preston. The Pirates being a non-football school could have started November the 1st, but they elect to start a little bit later. That way your season continues in more of a flow. If you start early at some point, there has to be a wall in play. The Pirates themselves did not start until November the 4th, one week ago tonight, they beat Okarchi here on this floor, 66 to 53. There we go, it'll be a side throw in, Karefrin Bagby. You know who they're looking for, Jervis Goring. Bagby, Goring, five seconds to play. Goring drives around Edmondson, they're gonna call a travel against Goring. Great defense by Easton Edmondson. Timeout, Dale, with 3.8 seconds to play. We're tied at 46. So, Gorey, you knew he was going to get it. You knew he was going to drive. You did not necessarily think he would turn it over without getting a shot off. 3.8 seconds to play, the possession arrow belongs to Dale in case of any tie-up. Dale last year a prolific offensive club. Tied at 46, nearly 32 minutes gone in this ball game. Will 32 minutes be enough to settle it or will we need overtime? Deacon Jones is going to be out there. Trey Chambers will be out there. Easton Edmondson, Jet Higdon. And the fifth player is Levi Kelly. Preston will use a little bit of pressure in the backcourt from Liggins. Jones is the only pirate for Dale in the backcourt. Edmondson will inbound. Chambers gets it to Jones. He fumbles it. Battling for it, it's loose, and time will expire. So the answer to the question is no. 32 minutes will not be enough to decide this one. Dale and Preston in 2A boys basketball from Mulgee County tied at 46. We'll step aside for just a moment. This is Pirates basketball on DalePirates.tv powered by Squirtle. Four periods of the books, nothing decided, tied at 46. Chambers, Higdon, Kelly, Edmondson, and Jones, the five out there with the floor. Preston right, will go, go with their starting five. 
That is Gorey, Webb, Bagby, Liggins, and Smith. Malachi Liggins will jump center against Trey Chambers, who had 10 in regulation. Four minutes up on the board to try and decide this one after one overtime period. And Dale is well the opening tip. Edmondson will bring it to the front court to Deacon Jones. Left side for Chambers. He attacks, strikes to the paint, and lays it in. Chambers with the first bucket of overtime, and it's 48-46 Pirates with 3.23 to play in overtime. Webb into the front court. Bounces it out high. Jervis Goring, one dribble. Out high, it's Begby. Begby to Keaton Smith. Keaton to Gorey, left wing, guarded by Edmondson, crosses over, and he's fouled. Easton with his fourth personal foul, and that means he is likely finished guarding Gorey. They called it on the foul, uh, floor, not the shot. So that's the fourth against Easton, the sixth against Dale. Fouls from regulation carry over the second half. Gorey is web, triggers in and bounds, goes to work out front. 3.16 to play in overtime. Dale by two. Malachi Liggins through the top of the key. Left side web, pushed off Kelly. No whistle. Liggins for three in the left quarter. It rattles off. Bagby crashes for the rebounds, dribbles out, and bounces it to Liggins. Three minutes to play in overtime. Gorey loses the ball off of his leg, gets it back. Working against Levi Kelly. Now he attacks against Kelly. Off balance, throws it up. It won't go. Higdon and Chambers had the basket corralled. And it's Higby with a rebound. Higdon with a huge rebound. 48-46. Chambers into the paint. Right side, Edmondson. Pump fakes and a foul. It's only the fifth against Preston. Webb bit on the pump fake, and that's going to cost him his first personal foul. Higdon, Edmondson, Chambers, Jones, and Kelly, the five out of the floor right now for the Dale Pirates. Dale led by as many as second in the third period, and we were tied at 46 and at the end of regulation. Chambers rips it away, goes up and a foul. It's either against Smith or Liggins. It probably could go against either one, and they're going to call it on Malachi Liggins. That's his fourth personal. So both teams now with the next whistle will be into the one and one. Each team with six fouls up there on the board. 2.39 to play in overtime. Chambers, the only thing he hasn't done well tonight is shoot free throws. He's 0 of 2. First one is up, and that one is good. So Trey Chambers has all three thus of the points for the Pirates in overtime. First meeting in two years between Dale and Preston. Second one is good. What a night Trey Chambers has had. 50 to 46, two possession game. Minute and a half into the overtime period. We play four minutes. Bagby with it out front. Kareferent holds it above his head. Now it's Gorey, guarded by Levi Kelly. 2.17 to go in overtime. Gorey looking for a screen high from Bagby. Now he waves him off. Crosses over, Kelly knocks it away. Levi on the floor, digs it out. He gets it to Edmondson. Up ahead to Jones. Deacon pulls up on the right block. Tried to bank it in, it wouldn't go. Higged it with a rebound. Races to the left corner, he'll pull it back out front. Levi Kelly to Easton Edmondson. Under two minutes to play in overtime. Dale has pitched a shutout of the Pirates from Preston since the overtime period began. 50 to 46, all of Dale's points coming for the 6'6 sophomore. Trey Chambers, Deacon Jones as they spread the floor. Three out, two down, and a foul against Tucker Webb will be his second. That also means that Easton Edmondson, a good foul shooter, is going to go to the free throw line. Edmondson has seven points tonight. He's two of two from the foul line, and now Chase Littlejohn wants a timeout. 138 to play, 50 to 46. Two big free throws upcoming for Easton Edmondson. He has a chance to give Dale a full two-possession lead. Jeff Edmondson tonight has only used six players. The only player other than the starting five off of the bench is Denton Forsythe. Forsythe had five of his seven of the first half. 
Here's a big basket in the fourth period. But he presently is not out there with the floor. Preston tried to knock off Okarchi and Dale within a seven-day span of this floor. Pirates looking to go to 1-0, and oh, extend an eight, get a seven-game win streak, dating back to last year. Heading to Bing for their second game of the year in Dayton. Forsyth will be available for service of that ball catch. This has a chance to be a big statement win for the Dale Pirates. Playing without arguably the best junior player of the state of Oklahoma, they have a chance to go out on the road and get a win over a quality Preston club. 138 to play, 50 to 46. Possession arrow belongs to the Preston Pirates in the case of a tie-up. Edmondson will be at the line for the one and one and he hit the front end. This is why you put all the work in, in the spring and in the summer, early mornings in the gym for situations just like that. And Edmondson, cool as the underside of the pillow hits both. 52-46, 95 seconds to play from Preston. The Pirates have the basketball, Dale the lead. Gorey touches it to Webb out front. Tucker angles left to Jervis top of the circle. Gorey right of a screen from Bagby. Pump fakes, Kelly stays down. Now they'll give it to Liggins right side. 115 to play, Liggins an off balance three, no good. Boy, he has a weird looking shot. Chambers with a rebound. And now the Dale Pirates have a chance to make it a three possession game with a minute to play in overtime. Easton Edmondson as they play keep away to Kelly out front left side. 58 seconds to play. Deacon Jones finally will be fouled by Liggins. And that is it for Malachi Liggins with two points. It's also the eighth foul of the second half and into overtime for Preston, so that means it's still a one and one for Deacon Jones. This is a young basketball team by academic ages. Only Deacon Jones playing tonight is an upperclassman for Dale against a Pirates team from Preston that had four of their five starters seniors. Deacon Jones' first free throw is up, and it's no good. 52-46, 48 seconds to play. Liggins into the front court. He's cut off by Jones. Left quarter with the basketball is Gavin Walker, who's in now for Liggins, and a foul, and Walker's go to the free throw line. It's against Higdon, that's going to be the fourth on Jet Higdon. So Gavin Walker, who tallied two points and pulled down a rebound against Okarchi in the season opener for Preston, will be at the line for a one and one, trying to finally get